Leaking, leaking, leaking. Stop. Yes, guys, what is back? And welcome back to a brand new video. So today what we're doing, we are fitting some fuel pumps on our mates. Golf, GTI, Mark 7. Um, this is on the road to 400 brake, as they say. So we're going to show you how to, or maybe how not, to fit some fuel pumps. So first, we'll just show you the car. Try and explain some of the mods on it. Um, and then we'll get to fitting them. What is it, a low pressure fuel pump or an high pressure fuel pump? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's show you the car. Right, so Mark 7 Golf GTI. So we've got AirTech induction kit, uh, the turbo elbow, so nice. Uh, racing line, catch can, which is a must for these VAG cars. Then, there you go, there's your little catch can plate. Um, there. We have got white exhaust system, is it Scorpion? Scorpion or Cobra? Scorpion. So Scorpion, 3 inch all the way through, yeah? Not too loud, pretty. Yeah, but well, I've got a cat for insurance purposes. Um, and then we've got a AirTech stage. Is it AirTech stage two intercooler? Well, yeah, yeah. So it's good for 600 brakes. So we should be fine, hopefully. I've uh, got some Team Dynamic Pro Race LT, uh, the newest ones on the market. With some K Sport forge brakes, 356 mil. Yep, big boy ones. Um, uh, what? Lowering Springs are they? Voice Votland. Sounds like something you'd find at um, Costco. Mm -hmm. um, manual. Um, that's it really. Look, it's really nice to be fair for Lowering Springs. Like, bad boy. Yeah. <clears throat> Say, different spoiler, different diffuser. Oh, is it? Yeah, man, that's loads better, that is. So, yeah. What do you reckon? Best GTI in Birmingham, yeah? Oi. So this is what we've got here. So Auto high pressure fuel pump kit upgrade. And then EcoTune MBQ low pressure fuel pump upgrade kit. Um, so yeah, let's show you what, what it is. So I thought it was going to be massive to be honest with you. But this is absolutely tiny. So I believe this one sits in there, which we'll show you how to do. And we'll be drilling. The return to the MPI to yeah. 4 mil from, I think it's 0 0.8. Yeah. And then the big boy is the big one. So obviously if you watch me do my DC5, it's pretty similar. But instead of us taking apart the unit like we did on the Honda, this looks like a complete in and out unit. So hopefully this is a lot easier and we don't get no uh, leaks from up there. So, so how much was that? A lot. Six, 600. <coughs> Shit, 575, so if you bought a Honda you could have done it for 120 yeah, quid. Oh, can you? Yeah. And, then, and then that one, that, that ain't cheap. Fresh basket and everything. How much is that one? 350. Jeez, right, we best not go to a bad car next. So, uh, yeah, let's go. But then, so. Oh, you got a five door? Yeah, if you've got a five door or you've got spunk in the middle of your uh, seat, <laughs> I ain't touching that son. I'll get my fingers impregnated. So apparently it just pulls up. You know them gloves? Does that mean you were uh, in the Nürburgring, son? That is basically the certificate to say you've been in the ring. Go on then, rip them up. Nah, I don't think this is how you do it. Nah. Oh, there we go. What the? You do it from the sides? Yeah, yeah, pull it from the right. Yeah, you can pull it because it's your car and you can snap it. No one sits back here anyway. Nah. Yep. Boom. Easy as that. Right, so what you want to do is get a cheeky little flathead, like so. Pry it underneath and you can pull it out. That's a little like rubber, rubber bung. Oh, is it? Otherwise, you can't get it from past here, so push it through, feed it through, and get it out of the way. Oh, and then there's two, there's one connector and a little fuel send. Right, lovely jubbly. Let's get that out. So one's going to be a push pin. Well, they're both going to be push connectors. That one should be like, oh, it's the horrible VAG connector in it that's like, feels like you're going to snap it. Right then, so what we did, we struggled to get like, the actual uh, fuel cap off. So, oh, mate, it's just going to keep coming and coming, is it? Is that just draining out? I think so. Yeah. 
I'm not Ooh. quite sure because my hands are getting wetter and wetter. Is it? It's probably just seeping through, isn't it? Well, you've got two fuel pumps in here. Is that the high pressure one? Yeah, no, just low pressure. Oh, is it? See, maybe it's because the Honda's only got one. That could be why it's fucking. As soon as you let it off. Yeah. Stop coming now. Has it? Yeah. Sound. So oh, that's there's 99 going everywhere. Oh, wasted. It's good I've only put 95 in, isn't it? <coughs> uh, and then it just looks a case of flathead on the ring and then loosen that off, innit? I think so, yeah. Any movement? But then, so what you're going to want to do is don't give up with the hammering. We tried with a rubber mallet and a flathead, then we've got the extension bar, but we literally just tap on it and it will come loose. And then, literally, to hit these bits, hit what bits? What the little yeah, sticky up? Oh, the inside rings. Yeah, look, I started there, but yeah, it's no good. It's been these bits. Okay, so do that, and then pretty much that should pull out now, shouldn't it? I think there's another connection. Is that? Yeah, I think so. If the Americans are the same as us, there's another connection. Odds are. There ain't. <laughs> oh. Oh, that V power's gonna get wasted, you know. Mm -hmm. Lots of it. Should have ran the car to empty. It's on red. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, feel wasted though, innit, kid? So easy as that, literally. The car will probably be full of fuel, so you can either A, just drain it back into your fuel tank. Uh, like I say, two connectors, that one, that one. You got your seal, pull straight out, and there's your new one, which looks pretty much identical. What CC is that? Is it a CC? Yeah, they don't, or say. They don't say. It'll flow up to 600 breaths. Yeah, okay, so there's no... So yeah, that's the VAG equivalent to the Walbro. What, four, 400 or something like that, maybe? I believe they are 450s in there. Yeah. I believe, but nobody knows unless you work Yeah, there you go. And are you going to reuse the seal, yeah? You don't get a seal with that one, no. Oh, oh, oh. It's prime for some reason. Oh, that's weird. Um, right, so it literally is quite simple, really. So you've got the holes. Um, if you can see, I can't see any yet. So if you see there, oh, come on, focus car, focus. Oh, uh, man, it's because oh, it's, it's dark, yeah, that, that'll do. Um, so basically, if you see, see like the tab there. So if you put that tab, it'll line up there. And then what you do is you want to hit the inside bit with a hammer and like lock it into place so like obviously there's metal under there so it like locks it all into place it's like little locking rings kind of thing um as you can see on the next one see look they're all locked into place now so yeah right you're gonna start it up then yeah mm -hmm. go on then there we go so you can hear it any link probably should have cleaned it up before we put the new one in but I can't see anything no it's not it's not a Honda so it shouldn't leak And so we're onto the high pressure. Right then, so we're onto the high pressure fuel pump now. So, as I believe, this connector's got to come off. Uh, this has got to be pulled off. This one down here pulled off. And I believe TX bits. But as we go through it, we'll uh, we'll show you. So let's go. Oh my Jesus! What has happened there? Is that normal? I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got <laughs> done it before. <laughs> Me. You know, as I say, she's a squirter. <laughs> oh yep, so now we're going to undo underneath, which will potentially have. Well, it is called a high pressure fuel pump, so what do you expect? High gushes of fuel at your chest. There we go. Lovely. I can't believe that, you know. We're not mechanics, oh, as gosh. you can tell. <laughs> If in doubt, wiggle it out. It's tight, you know that is. Right then, so there's two TX bits, what are they, TX? TX. They're them stupid flipping triple squares. Oh, are they? So we'll do that, that, and then I'm guessing it'll just pull off, won't it? Yep. Right, so if you get to this point, um, obviously you've undone that banjo bolt that goes into the bottom of the fuel pump. So you're gonna like wiggle it, like I wiggled it left and right, and then put up, just put like one finger or two fingers on the bottom of this and try and free this. And then once this starts moving, if you twist this over there, so you get the bottom bit over there, push down on the banjo, so the fuel line, and then you'll be able to pull the fuel line that way, take the pump that way. And then now, do you want to be my magical assistant? Oh, God. <gasps> There we go. Oosh. Lovely jubbler. Right, so to fit the new one, um, what I believe we have to do is get a ring spanner or something to put pressure on, push down on that spring and then the little collar that's in there, pop that off and then we should be able to... Get that tool there. That tool there. Yep, that one. Slot that over. Yep. Spanner on that. New one. Put that one in. Exactly. Let's go. Right, so you'll find when you take this off, what you're going to have to do is this little collet here. You might stab your mate trying to do this, but what you got to do is push down on this spring, get like a flathead, well that and a flathead, obviously, but get a flathead, push down on the spring like that, and eventually you'll get underneath it, and like so, you'll pop it out. You might not think you'll be able to do it, I probably recommend getting some long nose pliers that are angled to get underneath it, but what you'll do, You'll pry it off, that'll come off. Spring comes off like that. And then the tool, do you buy that separate? Yeah, so you have to buy that separate. And then what size socket? It's 26, but I don't know what size it's actually. There we go, so yeah, sound. There we go, unscrew that. Don't tell me that's it. Yeah. But that thing in there is... That's the original one. And then we go get the... Auto Try and do it in a cleaner, better area if you can, you know what I mean? Don't do it on your doorstep. I think that goes in like that. Yep. I think. And then the spring goes back on. Where does the spring come from? Yeah, that way. Yep. Right then, so what you're going to have to do, these collets here are like separate. So, if you stop moving the camera, don't matter, oh well. Right, so if you push down the spring, these individually like lock into the... What, that little gap there? Well, it looks it, it could be just more over one side than the other, you know what I mean? But, yeah. there we go. Right, so what you're going to do, you're going to need one of these. If you haven't got one of these, if you click down below in my link, uh, you can get one of these from Amazon. Um, and what we're going to do is drill it out. What size are we going to drill it out to? Four mil. Four mil. Let's show them what. Ow! So we are going to drill that, which... Now that in there, see that little dot? Oh, that. 0 0.8 mil or something. Jeez. So yeah, you just undo it off there. What size was the socket used to get it 15. off? 15. 15 mil. So yeah, let's drill that out with that. Right then, so don't worry about the gap. Um, that's actually on the video itself, so that's that's normal. And then show us the hole we've drilled. So we've drilled a four mil hole all the way through. So take that off and just go all the way through. So on the back and through the top, and you'll have it looking like that. So that's it now, put it back together in it. Right, we're going for a start off. Let's go. Ah! 
Leaking, leaking, leaking. Stop. Right, take two. Someone had premature ejaculation then. And uh, three, two, one. No, it's leaking. Stop. I'm only joking. Ooh, you toss that. Right, so uh, we've kind of like skipped to the end of the day and it's kind of finished. Uh, we did go out for a little drive in it um, and we've noticed um, it's come up a fault, something to do with a uh, fuel rail pressure. Either, either we think that it's because obviously, you know, we've drilled out that thing to four mil. I think it's like 0.8 of a mil, but we've drilled out to four mil now. So obviously it's gonna let a lot more fuel in. So I'm guessing the pressure is gonna be a lot more. I can't actually remember the fault, the code that he was giving. So obviously when he was trying to come on boost, when he was trying to accelerate, um, the car was like kind of going into limp mode, but it was showing up as a fault. Um, so we either think it's either A, because obviously the new stuff's been put on, got drilled out, and obviously the car hasn't been mapped to suit, obviously the more fuel in and the more pressure that it's supposed to handle. Um, but then on the other side, he said that it could be because of the seal on the um on the tank you know the low pressure fuel pump uh, in the car at the back of the seats um it said that the seal potentially could be not like stuck down enough so it could be either of those two um he said like next week he's going to try it um and see if that see if that that's an issue just see if the seal isn't correctly seated um, but he has spoke to someone that actually does fit those and apparently the cars don't like it if it's not mapped in um so yeah, it's one of those, I guess, but you do understand. It is pretty easy, to be fair. I think the only thing I wish we had was long nose pliers with, that were angled. I think then we would have been able to like, pry underneath it because it was quite, like, I've cut myself, I've cut my hand and my fingers and that. So that was the only hard bit, really, was on the high-pressure fuel pump where you have to get the little collar out. Um, but other than that, I would genuinely say you could do it yourself. Um, I'm not, like, really mechanically minded, do you know what I mean? And... I don't think it was that bad. So if anyone is thinking about doing it, I'd probably say give it a go. The low pressure fuel pumps, literally two clips and bust straight in. Um, but the other one is a bit more technical, but it's not that bad. As long as you can push the spring down and get the collet off, it's pretty simple. Um, and obviously just drill out that thing. Um, so I hope this video helped. I think roughly to fit those two is about about 200 and something quid, 280, 300 quid, and it probably took you about, it took us about two and a half hours, three hours to do that, messing about, having a laugh, and getting it stuck in. So, um, yeah, I hope this helped you. Um, next, I think we're going to be fitting the upgraded turbo on it. So, we're going to be fitting a big turbo, and then it's got getting mapped in like a few weeks. So, yeah, some content for you there. Well, so obviously the DC4 is doing its thing. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new here, please like, share, subscribe. It all massively helps out the channel and helps out me. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, guys. And uh, thank you for watching. Peace.